uh, since I just did City of the Dead, and <laughs> blood, blood is a thing, you know, especially with lineages and, you know, keeping you alive, um, that's important, and we have, what, like five or six of it in our in our, our in our bodies uh, blood volume in human yeah five liters right and you can lose as I did as I showed right well actually well you can lose it to two two liters of that and survive but anything more than that and you're, you're, you're gonna have a heart attack you actually you can have a heart attack after giving blood if you physically exercise uh, to exertion. And so, because you're down and your 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 heart has to pump that much harder. So if you're not prepared, obviously the the the, the blood bank says, well, don't exercise day the day of, um, unless. You know, you're someone like me who's in really good shape, and like has a has a resting heart rate under under sixty, or like sixty five. I really wouldn't risk it otherwise. It's just just uh, it's just just uh, you know a, a word of caution. Um, I'm not I'm not going to state that. You know, Canadian Blood Services is, is involved in selling surplus blood, but you know it, it is possible, and that's not to, to spread a rumor. But you, you know, you, you, you these some you gotta make money somehow if, if all the funding isn't there. <laughs> you know, and depending on on the the amount of blood that's available and what blood type, if it's within reason, you know, I, I and with because it's traceable for for 90 what 95 percent or more um traceability and verified you know because they do lab testing on all of all their samples uh to verify that there's no parasites and that there's there's no stis or any other i say kretzfeld yakov or other bloodborne diseases So, you know, uh, <laughs> in the States, I, I know that the, well, I don't know this, but it's rumors, you know, that people, um, will buy O negative blood for satanic rituals or for pagan, pagan rituals, but pagans usually sacrifice animals instead of people, <laughs> you know, and then you get into weird stuff like the Marian Abramovich, um, the 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 spooky stuff, uh, say from what the 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 Bohemian Grove, the dress up with the oil with the the, the owl and the and so the owl is Minerva. Minerva. Al of Athena. So this is this is symbology that um, that Drake or Aubrey uh, takes up. I am not stating that. Um, Aubrey participates in blood rituals or has associations with Satanism. Okay, so here's the Owl of Athena. Wisdom or Minerva, or syncretic incarnation in Roman, Roman mythology. So Minerva. Goddess of wisdom, justice, law, victory, and a sponsor of arts, trade, and strategy. So you know that would make sense. And obviously, you know Drake is is an artist, and he would be conscious of these things and the symbology that he employs um, as part of his his uh, his 
his brand identity. Okay, origins. Excuse me. Just gotta scratch my paint, scratch my my chin there. Um, let's go to the next window. Not the blood volume, but blood rituals. It usually rams blood, right? So, so with Passover. And they sacrificed a ram because the ram was uh, the strongest of, of the herd. Well, that's interesting. Here you go, a blood sacrifice. Holy blood, sacrificing, and the blood ritual than Christian and Catholic. Like, this is stuff that my, my uncle Doug was into. Um, in the eighties and then, you know, there, there was, there was some sort of nervous break, um, or paranoia that led to him being over medicated for the rest of his life and classified as schizophrenic, catatonic schizophrenic. Yeah, and that, that happened to a lot of people who did, did, who were experimenting with psychedelics in the 1980s, if not, you know, other combinations of amphetamines and and depressants, and disassociatives, in order to achieve a, a new, higher enlightenment, which makes me think of uh, Beyond the Black Rainbow, which I was going to I was going to to uh, reference yesterday um, to the Lawnmower Man. So Beyond, because the the the, in the Lawnmower Man has a building that's very similar you know to what's in what's in this movie and this uh beyond the black rainbow was produced if i remember correctly uh by a canadian Yeah, Panos Cosmatos. Uh, Panos also did Mandy, I think. Isn't that right? Yeah, he did Mandy. Mandy, I love Mandy. Mandy's great. <laughs> I know that has a duality of me meaning for me. But the movie is really good. And I love the woman too from, from afar. Um, she's like my sister. Okay, going back here. And both the Mandy, which interestingly enough, the coincidence, um, Mandy the person and Mandy the movie, um, you know, they're, they're both interested in, you know, the, the darkness of humanity. And um, religious overreach and arrogance, quite frankly, you know, the, the, the occultist, almost Christian occultism that, uh, that happens within Mandy and the blood sacrifices, which is, is a, was a, is a possible and highly likely outcome. So back to the blood rituals, African blood rituals. So this is stuff that's related to, to, um, voodoo. But you know, I didn't. I didn't get this far because you know I'm a I'm a second year uh, academic suspension in, in at Trent University, so you know I could pay them and go back. You know, if you're watching, I I would like to go back and finish it. You know, that's that's always been a goal of mine to finish it and to legitimize uh, my commission as an officer, because you know you don't get to skip basic. Just because you go in the back door, that that's not a double entendre, you know, because the CIC was is and always has been 
uh, a way of, of bringing people into the officer corps um, through the reserves. But the C, again, the CIC, interesting how I'm, I'm talking about this with the blood ritual, <laughs> but again, it has to do with the blood march, right? And that war is a blood sacrifice for people that don't give a shit about you. Um, in that, you know, bloodlines of family, right? Uh, military family. You don't just leave it, all your customs and your mannerisms behind. They follow you and they linger uh, with linger behind you or around you for the rest of your life. And you will always be that person. You always be more than that person afterwards as well. Um, anyways, you know, cause like after a traumatic event, so you have to retrace your steps and, and then start from the beginning. So this is why Peterson is, 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 uh, promoting the self authorship and he's read the, his thing, his tour with wrestling with God. Um, not that I'm, I'm, I'm in, in line, but I am in parallel to some of the things that he's talking about. Yeah. Uh, gods, cults, mm, tribal belief systems, you know, and, and Africa again is is just is just the continent. It's not it's not the countries or or the tribes that um, that don't you know that are separated by by international borders, but in reality. They're still the same people. So there's that one. That's an interesting one. The Blood Project. Um, sure, let's look at this one. Amazon Blood Ritual in the Hebrew, Hebrew Bible. Again, I, I I don't talk about Islam so much, you know. I have I haven't read the Quran, but uh, the the Jewish Bible and the well the, the Torah and the Talmud, um, in the New Te New Testament and the Old Testament, the Old Testament is shared by both. So Leviticus 17.11. Of course, Leviticus is also famous for the passage against uh, thou shall not lie with a, not, one man shall, shall not lie with another man. Which is the, you know, which is an expansion then expanded upon endlessly as, as the as a citation for the opposition to homosexuality within Christianity and within Catholicism or whatever else. But, you know, again, I am not gay. I'm not inter interested. I've been through enough uh, because of these people. What do you mean, these people? Oh, God. Help me. Help me reach these people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not joking around. I'm not. Um, even though I'm trying to deal with it, with uh, trying to deal with it through humor. Okay, so other stuff. Uh, sacrificial, scarification of blood ritual in the Christian and Catholic. That's interesting, isn't it? Well, I have to verify the source here. Play piercings. So now I, I understand that scarification in some cases is sexual. Um, and, you know, I, the, I've, I, I was referencing this, the, the one woman that was in, on, on a TV show in the early thousands. It was, it was a sex education show. 
uh, either on Bravo or on Showcase uh, was channel 41 or 39 here in, in southwestern Ontario um, through the Rogers Cable. <laughs> yeah. Um, that uh, she had burns. Um, she had a, a, a massive burn that covered like 20 or 25 percent of her upper torso, including her breast. But she still had her nipple and stuff like that. And she liked to play around with fire uh, on the scars. So it, it'd be like, you know, that's in, in a way that, you know, okay, so uh, say someone that was a cutter or suicidal um, might find catharsis uh, in playing with knives in a, in a you know, in a, in a, in a trustworthy uh, setting with their partner. You know, that's a suggestion. There's obviously um, some precautions that I would take in that I would only use a, a dull knife for such a thing. Because it, what it, it is, the wires are crossed after trauma, even especially after self-inflicted trauma. That going to church and seeking religion... Uh, isn't the the be all and end all um, of the bad ritual, right? And that's a Timber Tambor reference, and I really like Timber Tambor, even though they're so dark. And this is the self flagellation thing, uh, is another you know for penance and for a corporal punishment, a reminder of of the weakness of the body, and that pain, pain is a reminder of mortality. Um, and that, that relates to, I don't know what the, 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 the leg strap, um, that, that you see in the Da Vinci code and how brutal that really is. But that's fanaticism, right? That that's absolute fanaticism. See, so this is this is a cult practice, and it's initiation, and then also it um, it's a means of the, of domination, and this is this is one of the things that flagellation is with the strap, the corporal punishment for not being pious or not doing what the priest says um, within the lawnmower man at the beginning, and it's to, to put people into subjugation and to be oppressed by the religion. You know, um, this uh, this overarching uh, nepotistic and unforgiving God, the old, old Testament motherfucker. Right. The, the Christianity before the arrival of Christ and washing away the sins, his body his blood, the symbology behind it. And so, you know, I, again, I, I, I'm sorry, Jonathan, I don't mean to leave you out. I'll include you in on this one because that's what Prego really likes to do is symbology and whatnot. Um, so, you know, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to tag you. <laughs> and, and I know this, this is, this record is permanent now and you're part of this video, uh, but yeah, whatever. And then the stigmata and all that other stuff of 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 hardcore Roman Catholicism, you know. Oh boy. And then I'm thinking like the Passion of the Christ, and then Apocalyptica with the human sacrifices, because. They thought that if they got rid of the people, uh, and they they watered the gut, watered the ground, um, with, with their blood, that the good times would come back, but it was it was more or less they they had an infection of, 
or so they had a, a, a bad year of locusts. But that's all it takes. That's all it takes is one year of bad crops uh, for for a dependent agrarian society, and things go fucking crazy. Or they might have eaten eaten bread or uh, wheat that was processed um, from moldy moldy and it was laid off to the side and it became moldy and they didn't give a shit so then people start going crazy and chasing this this freaking um pentultimate drug of adrenochrome <laughs> yep fear and loathing and christianity <laughs>